Big news from Glacier this year is the introduction of the Sportsman TC. The T being for turbo normalized and the C being for carbon. And we're real excited about it because it's not very often that you get to reduce the empty weight, increase the gross weight, and also increase the performance both in climb and speed. So it's, it's a pretty unique uh, opportunity for us and we're excited to bring it to everyone. The engine is a 180 horse Lycoming IO360 that we put a turbo normalizing kit on it. So what we are able to do is maintain sea level uh, manifold pressure all the way to 20,000 feet. So instead of normally when you climb, you keep watching your manifold pressure go down, 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 you get to watch your manifold pressure stay the same. And in the end, you get to take advantage of the thinner air with the horsepower. We designed the engine so that it can be run Lena Peak so you're not going to be burning the fuel all the time. The way we're running it right now is we're running at Richard Peak in the climb and then once you level off then you go Lena Peak and you're burning about nine gallons an hour, nine and a half gallons an hour. With regard to performance, a normally aspirated 180 horsepower sportsman will generally clear about 130, 132 knots. This airplane, if you climb to 17,500 feet, 15,500 feet, you're going to be cruising at about 155, 160 knots. If you want to go as high as 20,000 feet, you'll even go faster. But most of us are going to stay 15.5, 17.5 and uh, enjoy the benefits of doing about 155, 160 knots. Uh, the other big news about this airplane is that we've switched to all carbon fiber. So all of the carbon, all of the glass or the composite components on the airplane have been switched to carbon fiber. We still have an aluminum wing, elevator, ailerons, flap, rudder, steel safety cage. But all of the composites have been switched to carbon fiber. And that equates to about a 40 pound weight savings on the airplane. That's how we get the drop in the empty weight uh, and then we've done some engineering changes in terms of cage changes, wing changes, strut changes, and composites changes that also allow us to now increase the gross weight. So we went from a 2,350 pound gross weight to a 2,500 pound gross weight. At the same time, we decreased the empty weight and we gave it more horsepower at altitude. It's one of those win-win-win things that you uh, rarely get to really say, and it's true. We expect to be able to deliver the airplane in the two weeks to taxi program starting in October, so relatively soon. We have some tooling changes that we're making, but those are all in process. Uh, by the time most of the people read about this in the magazines, uh, we'll be delivering the airplane. With regard to cost, the airplane as configured here, we have a show special, it's $199,000. So you get the increase in the gross weight, you get a 2,500 pound gross weight airplane. What does that mean? What that means is about 1,100 to 1,200 pound useful load. Compare that to a, a Cirrus or a 182, it's right equal to a Cirrus or 182, and it's about three times what a carbon cub is. It's a huge useful load in the airplane. There's a lot more information for those who are interested in reading more about the product on our website, lots of beautiful pictures, come to www.glassairaviation.com.